few days in and a few more to go. Hey everybody, welcome to day number five of the Races and Fun Mail-In Tournament. Had some crazy events already, I'm sure we'll see more. Here's the first group for today. Number 46, D-Boom, 3.77 ounces. Number 47, 4114 Racing, 3.24 ounces. Number 48, Fix It With What You Got, 1.40 ounces. Number 49, Stompin', 3.21 ounces. Fix It With What You Got, that is probably the longest name we've had so far. But let's see how they fare up in today's races. Immediately taking the lead is D-Boom with 41-14 right behind him. Stompin is trying to keep up on the other end of the track. But now 41 has a slight lead and now they're going into the lane mergers. And that still holds true. 41 is holding on to the lead but D-Boom is trying to push him out of the way. So far he's unable to do that looking for an opening. But every time he moves, 41 follows. Keeping him well behind him. And Stompin is trying to catch him so far he's unable to. And it looks like Debu managed to pull off a win at the last possible moment. 4114 had him up until then, but I don't think he managed to keep him from passing him. Meanwhile, fix it with what you got is moving pretty slow and managed to stop before entering that last turn. I could be wrong, but that also looks like it's one car laying on top of the other one. But hey, sometimes you just gotta go with a fancy design, but that design is not helping him right now. Into the second race, D-Boom once again takes a slight lead. It's those three that are keeping relatively together. So far, Fix It is not keeping up with them. But maybe they'll be able to pull something off and we just don't expect it. Meanwhile, D-Boom just Pushes Stompin' out of the way, makes him lose so much momentum. And 41-14 is currently racing by himself over there. And as we get into this last lane merger here, in the final stretch, 41-14 has the lead. Can he hold on to it this time? As D-Boom approaches, but he manages to get the win this time. So as of now, we have no undefeated racers. That could change later. And now fix it with what you got is actually further back up the track, losing progress with each race so far. And 41 finishes with a 15.77. That's about a second and a half slower than the fastest time we've had so far, which is currently held by undefeated racer Blue Line Racing. Into race number three, so far Fix It has not finished yet. I'm sure they're looking to change that at this point, even if their chances are pretty much gone at this point. Into this next stretch, D-Boom is actually out in front, and 41 has lost some momentum, trying to catch back up. And Stompin is currently on his own. But D-Boom is currently in the lead going into the final stretch. And 41 is trying to catch him, but he spins around, losing more speed. And D-Boom will finish in first again. And Stompin just behind 41 in third. And Blue Line is going into that final stretch. Will he be able to get around it this time? No! He gets stuck again! To fix it with what you got may need to take that name into consideration and fix something because they haven't even finished yet. And if they don't finish here, I think they might be the first racer in this tournament to do so. But we'll have to see. After that first turn, it's 41-14 with the lead, and Stompin' just passed D-Boom. Will he be able to hold on to it is the question, though. Because so far, Stompin' hasn't won a race yet, so if he finishes in second, that may help him. I don't know if it'll be enough, but finishing in second is nothing to sneeze at, either. Meanwhile, 41-14 finishes in first, still not quite the fastest time, and Stompin' does finish in second. Here goes Fix It. It looked like he had the speed until he started fishtailing and he stops in the same spot again. Something about that last turn just kills him. 
Yeah, they'll definitely have to fix something in the future. Hopefully they'll have better luck in later races. For now, though, let's meet the racers in our second group. Number 50, Laro Reed. 1.89 ounces. Number 51, EP Videos. 3.25 ounces. Number 52, Dirt Map. 3.91 ounces. And number 54, See Deuce That Racer. 1.10 ounces. I'm feeling like there's a play on words in that name, and I'm just not fully grasping it, but if there is a play on words, then please let me know. And in general, if I'm mispronouncing something, let me know. For now, though, EP Videos has the lead. Doesn't seem to be moving too fast, but as long as he holds on to that lead, he'll be fine. For that next stretch, everyone else seems to have disappeared. I don't even see any other racers on camera, even if this one's in the lead, and they finish with what? It looks like a 15.03. Respectable, they definitely want to pick up the pace in later races. But where did everybody else go? We see Laro stuck up there some for some reason, and it looks like they're facing backwards. But what about the other two? Looks like uh, Dirt Map and Sea Deuce. Oh, wait, I think I get the name now. But for now, we're not going to focus on the name, because it looks like he and Dirt Map are stuck even further back than Lara was. And even Dirtnap somehow wound up upside down. I'm not sure how they managed to pull that off. Something tells me it has to do with the turn right before that. But yeah, EP Videos is the only person to finish that race. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's rare that we see somebody never finish. It's just about as rare where only one person finishes. Usually it's the other way around where three people three people finish, and only one gets stuck, but this time it was vice versa. Going into the second race, once again, the EP has the lead. I still saw some racers moving last time they were on camera. In fact, I saw one pass by. Meanwhile, EP goes into the final stretch without any competition whatsoever, and they finish in first once again. Around the same time, it might have looked like. But is someone else going to finish this time? Here comes somebody. Who is that? It looks like it's Sea Deuce. And he barely manages to finish. Meanwhile, Lero stops around the same point, And once again, Dirtnap somehow wound up upside down. I am not quite sure how this is happening. But I am noticing it happens right after a turn. So maybe something in its momentum after they turn causes the car to flip. Definitely want to stay on the wheels in the last couple of races. But we finally managed to get another person to finish. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to play out, because so far EP Videos has had no competition, but they will have at least one racer joining them somehow. And right now that favor goes to Sea Deuce. And we go into this third race, though. <clears throat> Man, I am so sorry, folks. Something's been caught in my throat. But EP Videos does have the lead once again, but it looked like we still have a couple other people on the move. And somehow EP flipped around and is going backwards. And it looks like that may have cost them some speed. But given how no one has been able to even get to the final turn besides them, they probably don't have much to worry about. And they finish in first yet again, so they're guaranteed to move on. And I think that was Dirt Nap that finished in second this time, and Sea Deuce finishing in third. So, so far it looks like everybody has finished except for Laro. And it looks like they didn't even get past the first stretch there. They got through that first turn and then they just stopped. Absolutely far from ideal. I think that was the earliest stop I have ever seen. So, so far, Laro 
has not finished yet. And they have one more chance to do so. If they don't, then we will have two racers that have not yet finished so far in this tournament and in the same video, no less. So even though Fix It with What You Got hasn't finished in one race, if Lero doesn't do the same thing, they can at least sit comfortably knowing that they weren't the only one that this happened to. Meanwhile, as we get into this final race, EP Videos is already guaranteed, and Sea Deuce has the higher chance between him and Dirtnap to move on, but anything could happen, really, because th this is quite uh, rare that something like this would happen. I, I don't really know what to say other than the fact that EP Videos has a good shot against whoever joins him in the finals at least. Who they face in the actual finals may be another story, but... EP Videos is sitting comfortably and it looks like Sea Deuce will be moving on. And Dirtnap didn't finish and I don't think Laro did either. Nope, they did not finish in a single race. So we had two racers in the same video never finish even once and once again every time dirt nap did not finish they somehow wound up upside down if we had a camera focused on that vehicle i would have loved to see how that happened each and every time and this is definitely one of the strangest racing groups i've ever come across for better or worse but EP Videos will be moving on, and Sea Deuce will join him. We'll see how that pans out in the finals. As they go up against D Boom and 41. The EP Videos did win every single race so far, but they didn't have too many racers in their own group kind of giving them any competition. So let's see how they fare up against 41 and D Boom. So far, they actually do have the lead, and 41 is trying to catch him, but they're not even in the same lane right now, so let's see if they can actually make something happen when they get into this final stretch. So far, EP Videos is the first one there, and that everyone else actually lost ground on him. Meanwhile, 41 and D-Boom were staying right beside each other as they get into that final part of the track. I think it was 41 that finished. I I'm not entirely sure, I'll have to look back at the footage. But here comes Sea Deuce, and he's trying to finish, and he manages to do so. That being said, they did finish in last, so they have a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, 15.33 is not the greatest time we've seen, but it's still relatively respectable. And it almost looked like Sea Deuce actually stopped up there, but I guess he had just enough speed to get around that last turn and go down the hill towards the finish. It's hard to see him actually finish because the, the cushion at the end kind of blocked half the screen there. But EP Videos is in a much better position knowing that they can finish in first even against 41 and Debu. Well, let's see if they can do that again. So far they are undefeated so they only need three more races to get that title. But 41 comes out of nowhere, launches himself in front, and manages to take the lead. The real question is, will they be able to hold on to it? They get into this next stretch there, and as they get into the last turn, they do have a decent sized lead. And 41 denies EP Video a chance of being an undefeated racer. So after this, we will still only have three that have never lost a race up to this point, that being Blue Line, Killer Kowalski, and Chase Family. And I believe Blue Line also currently holds the fastest time we've seen, which is 13.99. So they have been the only one, as far as I can remember, to break the 14 second mark. Other races have gotten close, but Blue Line is the only one to have done it. In this particular group, though, Sea Deuce manages to finish again, but it's not looking good right now. Meanwhile, EP and 41 are tied for the lead. 
That being said, in this third race, whoever finishes in first, it is not guaranteed that they will hold on to first place. But it definitely solidifies their chances a lot more to move on to the grand finals along with the other racers who have already done so. In this group right here though, the top three racers are neck and neck with each other and EP Videos is losing some ground. 21 and D-Boom are staying next to each other once again and D-Boom is trying to find a way to pass him. He does kind of shove 41 ahead, trying to make him spin but didn't quite get that to happen. And 41 finishes in first, followed by D-Boom and then EP. c -Deuce is nowhere to be seen right now. But he does manage to get into the final stretch. Will he be able to finish again? Yes, they do. Forty-one finishes with 15.48. They definitely want to pick up the pace when they move on in the future, it seems, should they do so. Yeah, I'm not sure what causes c -Deuce to lose so much speed, but they seem to have just enough in this particular group to finish each time, which is definitely a step up from the last one in terms of how many times they finish. And here we go into this last race. I didn't think to look at who had the scores, but now we can see them in the top left. It looks like things are looking good for 41 and EP, but EP has actually finished in a worse position each race. They would have to somehow finish behind c -Deuce. Yeah, it looks like EP and 41 will be moving on. So now I will take this time to tell you that our next tournament will be a Mario Kart custom race tournament. So if you have a racer that you want to submit, or if you want to just see the rules and whatnot, go to the Races and Fun Facebook page and you will get all the info you need there. So until then, we have these racers, DP and 41 moving on. D-Boom definitely put in a valiant effort. He definitely gave 41 some competition. Meanwhile, c -Deuce was at least able to finish each race, even though it was very close each and every time. 41 and EP joining our roster. I believe we have three more days of racers before the grand finals. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you for day number six.